sliding around. <laughs> Trying to get there. I didn't want to be a studio master. I wanted to really get everything firsthand. It was just another reason why uh, Ibrahima took me to meet his family and to meet the national company so they could, you know, really uh, uh, polish me off as a, a dancer. And the women, when I got there, they said, oh, Madame, yes, yes, she danced good, but come, we show you how the woman do it. <laughs> Which was, was exactly what I wanted and needed. So it was a great experience. My mentors while I was in film school were people like Julie Dash, who happened to live next door to me at that time, and Charles Burnett, who I would always um, ask for advice and help, and he shot uh, one of my first student films at UCLA. I've always been a somewhat experimental person. I never wanted to kind of just make the straight conventional work that I saw other people do, because it was like, well, what's the point of that? Anybody can do that, you know? There has to be something that makes it a Zainabu film. I know that I give out a lot of information and uh, like, you know, not to pollute, just helpful hints like that. And I think if uh, people would actually listen to it, then that would every day more and more contribute to having a better world, a safer place. She enjoys doing it. Well, half the time she doesn't even tell people what she's doing. If they call her up and say, hey, Ari, I saw you on that commercial. <laughs> and she's like, oh, really? Oh, okay. And she's on to the next thing. She doesn't really get caught up in it. And I love that about her. I know the reason thank you and the smile will take me far. Being in Haiti was a great introduction for me to that sense of blackness um, because it was a totally different framework and it allowed me to view things differently than I could immerse in my own culture. So I think that's why I took the jumping off point when I decided to do the goddess images. I went directly to the Haitian culture. Africa uh, awakened that little uh, sleepy, uh, sleep, a sleep black woman that was inside of me that did need to come out and really uh, open up and embrace the world with no fears and no inhibitions about uh, uh, who I am as a black woman and my place in the world. It empowered me. It transformed me totally.